I am going uh, to present you now the results from uh, our collaboration with uh, the Bulgarian Archive uh, State Agency, as well as the Archives Challenge Contest, which we organ organized in November and December uh, last year. Uh, the Bulgarian Archive State Agency is uh, the Bulgarian uh, institution that preserves the archives of the state's in institutions and uh, persons. Uh, our collaboration uh, between Bulgarian Wikipedia and uh, the Archives Agency was uh, initiated by the then director of the agency in uh, November uh, 2011. After uh, hearing a lecture about the collaboration uh, between the U.S. Wikipedians and the um, American archives. Uh, the director requested the contact with, uh, the, with the Bulgarian uh, Wikipedians, and from November until March, uh, there were negotiations of the legal parameters of the cooperation between the agency and uh, Bulgarian Wikipedia. Uh, on uh, 13th of March uh, 2012, the cooperation started with uh, signing agreements between the agency and uh, six uh, Wikipedians from uh, Bulgaria. Uh, in the autumn, uh, the agency invited for a conference about the digital uh, strategist of the American archives, Pamela Wright. Uh, by the end of the year, three, uh, three years, uh, three more Wikipedians signed agreements uh, for cooperation with the agency, and uh, I was uh, one of them. All of uh, us were visiting the Central Archives in Sofia. Uh, in February uh, 2013, one more Wikipedians joined, uh, and uh, he were digitizing uh, photos and documents uh, from the second largest uh, town in uh, Bulgaria, Plovdiv. In May uh, 2014, uh, the number of uh, digitizing documents reached uh, 1,000. In March 2015, a new director of the agency was uh, appointed, and we organized a meeting with him to reconfirm the archives' uh, commitment uh, in the cooperation. After the launch of uh, the electronic information systems of the Bulgarian archives, uh, search for documents and search by keywords become much easier uh, and helped us in our work. By the end of uh, 2015, uh, more than uh, 5,000 documents from the archives were digitizing. Uh, since we had so many documents already uh, available, uh, we decided that we can uh, organize one uh, contest to encourage the better usage and uh, description of uh, this file. For this, I will tell you more in a minute. Uh, the Bulgarian archives is uh, suffering different problems. One of the problems uh, is its uh, uh, bladed digitalization. Until uh, 25 years ago, the archives is an uh, institution of uh, classified access, 
and since then uh, the interest in its uh, collection has been minimal. Uh, only in the recent years, its social value has been rediscovered. Another problem is uh, that a big part of the meta metadata and uh, descriptions of uh, the documents uh, are rather short and uh, generic. Uh, most, but not all, uh, of the catalog catalogues are, are in uh, the archives electronic uh, information system, and this is a uh, hindrance in searching for documents. Uh, we also faced the problem that only a limited number of documents can be uh, ordered uh, at a time, and this number is not uh, large uh, enough for our needs. Uh, technically, we have provided our own computer, scanners, photo cameras. In the reading room, uh, however, uh, there is a perfect Wi-Fi connection. Each of uh, the vol volunteers uh, who contributed in the challenge support uh, the digitizing content under an out alternative account uh, consisting of their username and BASA, Bulgarian Archive States Agency. Uh, we mainly digitize photos to illustrate uh, articles uh, about people, ev events, places, as well as documents like agreements, newspapers, personal uh, documents uh, like uh, certificates. Uh, as a result of our collaboration with uh, State's agency, more than uh, 6,100 uh, documents have been scanned and uploaded with more than uh, 1,200 uh, of them uh, being currently used in Wikipedia's articles. They illustrated more than uh, 1,000 and uh, 200 articles in Bulgarian and uh, 900 articles in more than uh, 40 uh, languages. A language version as well as uh, 250 pages in uh, Wikidata. Uh, oftentimes, as a result of uh, the uh, occurrence of a new image uh, from the archives, a new article on uh, Wikipedia appears. Uh, this more than uh, to one, uh, 100 uh, new articles have been created uh, over the last uh, four years. In order to increase the usefulness uh, of the documents for illustrating uh, articles. Uh, expect, especially articles uh, that work in images, we organized uh, the uh, archive challenge. Uh, the contest uh, was uh, organized between uh, November 15, uh, and uh, December 15, 2015. <laughs> uh, it, I'm uh, at adding a description in the different uh, languages, adding categories for uh, easily finding the files, article illustration, and uh, creation. Initially, the contest was uh, oriented uh, towards the users uh, in Bulgarian Wikipedia, but uh, soon uh, we decided to expand it uh, on an international uh, level. 
for this purpose, we offered uh, our friends from uh, Central and Eastern Europe. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>
fourth meeting local Wikipedians outside of uh, capital Sofia and converting inter interest uh, people into uh, potential editors and uh, five, five creating more free content along uh, this way. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Okay. Uh, so my question is, um, if you have any information or data about uh, how this may have changed the archive um, uh, way of working, if they have now incorporated more technology in their usual way of documenting, uh, have they changed the way they, they uh, record, uh, or is this, uh, are they still, they still have maybe a lot of uh, documentation on paper? Um, Would you like to? Oh. <laughs> um, I think that they were in the process of digitizing uh, their um, catalogs and everything in the moment when they uh, invited us to collaborate with them. So it was uh, two efforts uh, of them to open to the society so, uh, and to make them more usable than they were, than they used to be. So um, we, in the beginning we had uh, to work with a lot of with paper catalogs, and nowadays it's much more easier because the yeah the bigger part is already digitized. Uh, the good thing is that the director who invited us for uh, starting this collaboration uh, also initiated um, a crowd uh, crowdsourcing and um, other initiatives, which included uh, students from the historical faculty of Sofia University and other universities in Sofia, and it was just one of the steps of making the archives more public, more usable, more uh, user-friendly. Um, so, yeah, there was a change, but it was not just because of our uh, uh, collaboration. It was because the director had a very modern, the new director had a very modern way of thinking, completely different mindset. So, yeah. Anyone else? <laughs> Uh, what cop I'm sorry, Arianet from uh, Kosovo. What copyright concerns did you have while you were going through this uh, project? I think that I can uh, answer better because I was in the process of uh, negotiating uh, in the beginning. Um, so they had copyright concerns because they do not own the content. They are just storing it, but they do not. They are not copyright holders of uh, of the material which is content in the. Um, stored in the archive. Uh, for this reason, they were about, they, it was about um, four months of negotiating how exactly to communicate with us uh, about the content, about the copyrights, and yes, copyrights was a very critical issue because uh, even their legal team did not um, completely know from the beginning what free licenses are. <laughs> so we had to educate them a little bit. It took some time. Uh, and in the end, we agreed upon um, digitizing only content from after 1944. Uh, no, actually, we started with 1942 back then. Um, so, um, yeah, we, um, yeah, at least 70 years, uh, yeah. Um, they, I think that they would be open for uh, negotiating with other, uh, with other parties for freeing but they themselves are not, they are not in this position. They're just a story. <laughs> uh, an, an interesting sub-question, which probably I can answer, is about how, uh, what is our position in this collaboration, since we do not have a user, uh, we only have user group, we don't have chapter. And in the beginning, they wanted to um, have agreement on, with on institutional level, their institution, they wanted to sign institutional agreement. That was a bit tricky. This also prolonged the <laughs> negotiations in the beginning, not only copyrights. 
And in the end, we decided to sign individual agreements. So now if someone wants to go and do this in our archives, they have first to sign such an agreement with them, which is, of course, not impossible. We just need more people to, to do it. And Anyway. Uh, I understood that uh, you focus mostly on uh, photos and uh, uh, documents like that. Uh, do you think that uh, it would be possible to digitize also administrative documents uh, uh, so that they can be used for uh, original, original research? Administrative documents, government paper. Um, administrative documents, um, yeah, this is actually one of the things which they do themselves. They have several people, uh, staff members, who, who digitize by uh, agreement with the uh, Council of Ministers. So, for instance, when we uh, started the negotiations, they had, um, uh, they had to make such um, digitization of all documents from the governments from the communistic time. But... Um, they are not so, well, they probably are very useful and they, uh, uh, even after OCRing, they can be used as primary sources with things like this. But our first concern is that since we are very few people, actually we're the two most active contributors in this collaboration, uh, since we are very few people going them, it requires physical presence and we want to optimize uh, and maximize our presence there, and we want to generate as much as, uh, as as much as possible content which can directly illustrate articles. This is why we do not go to the uh, institutional funds, but we go to the personal funds because in personal funds we find um, very interesting things that directly can illustrate articles which have, uh, for different reasons, been not illustrated for years. So probably if we were a bit more people, <laughs> uh, we could do, do more and concentrate on uh, documents um, and evidences of historical evidences, uh, which are not just for illustration. You know, a picture costs uh, a thousand words, uh, but, but, but to extract more value uh, and more resources from there. So far, I think that we can do just this with our few resource, human resources. But yeah, I would like to. <laughs> um, any more questions? Okay, if there are no, um, I will be giving you postcards. You can uh, find the person who is holding your peer. <laughs> so if you have the new one, you get, you get to find the one who gets the old one from the same place and uh, meet them, talk with them, familiarize, familiarize with them and have fun. <laughs> Thank you.